Even in the face of two mass shootings and unimaginable grief, Republicans can find the time to blame everything except guns. One of the things that, that, that everyone agreed is don't have all of these unlocked back doors. Have one door into and out of the school. And if the school was on lockdown, could have the doors have been locked where he couldn't have gotten in? We can uh, create points of access that are difficult to get through. We can potentially arm and prepare and train uh, teachers. They talked about doing a disinformation. What about getting a department that can look at young men that's looking at uh, women that looking at uh, just social media? What about doing that? Why did this happen? How did this happen? Uh, we have violent music, violent rhetoric. We stopped teaching values in so many of our schools. Now, now we're teaching wokeness. We're, t we're indoctrinating our children with things like CRT. Oh, good Lord. Renee, Michael, and Christina are back with me. I, I don't know who... Herschel Walk... I... Renee, your, your reaction to that mashup of insanity? That the sort of echo of foolishness that Republicans continue to spew in the face of one mass shooting after another, is that what we're talking about? <laughs> it's everything <laughs> but the gun. One word, four letters. Guns, that's the issue. And they will talk about anything except that. And so that should be really instructive as we're looking at what will be done in terms of perhaps universal background checks or whatever else they might consider doing. You know, we know that the moral, you know, the arc of the moral universe may bend towards justice, but it stalls in the Senate. So we know from what we're hearing right now that in all likelihood, very little is going to get done in the same way that very little got done after George Floyd's murder. I love that. The arc of the moral universe bends towards justice but stalls in the Senate. Michael Steele, you're the only Republican on this screen right yeah. now, and you still yeah. are a Republican yeah. at this point, I think, out of spite. Um, <laughs> why do you... Why do you... Why does your party talk around the issue? It's not the open door that killed the kids. It's not mental health. It's not any, it's the assault weapon that killed the kids. Why can't Republicans talk about it? You can still support the Second Amendment and say, you know what? I don't think an 18 year old should have a weapon of war. Yeah, it's because the party has uh, become uh, integrated into the business of guns uh, mm -hmm. and gun ownership. It is about the votes and the cash that are garnered from uh, that that affirmative defense of all things NRA. Um, and, and this, I mean, it's so it's gotten so bad that even NRA members, and I know quite a few of them. <laughs> um, are, are walking away from the NRA. I mean, despite the, the, the internal scandals that they've been going through, but just the posturing and the position after each of these hor horrific episodes becomes much more hardened. Look, the Republicans on this issue are unserious. They are not, they're not going to do anything uh, to change the status quo. The reality of it is John Cornyn being asked by McConnell to sit down um, with the Democrats to negotiate. Y'all need to understand what that is and what it isn't. What it isn't is a legitimate effort to actually come to some resolution, um, as, as uh, we were just talking about, but instead uh, to forestall, uh, to, to that stalling in the Senate. Uh, look, you know, Schumer was threatening to put a, a, a gun bill on the floor of the Senate every day and get the members to vote on it. They don't want that. So we'll go and say, look, we'll talk to you about a package. There is no package because they're, they're, they're on break now for the next 10 days for the holiday. They'll come back and they'll go back on break for the 4th of July. They'll come back for maybe a couple of weeks and then they're out for the mm -hmm. month of August. What do you think is going to get done between now and then? But what will not get done is when they are in session, bills being put on the floor by Chuck Schumer to hold the, the Republicans accountable. Schumer should put those bills on the floor anyway, despite any negotiations that may be underway. Yeah, uh, Professor Greer, I, um, I want to play for you Mo Brooks. Uh, he was on Fox, um, and he, he was asked about the um, polling data uh, on, on guns. You know, we've been talking about it all morning about how 
a majority of the American people want common sense things done on gun safety. Watch this. I suggest that the polling day that you have does not really reflect the opinions of the American people. I suspect that the people who were polled by way of example were not properly explained what the purpose of the Second Amendment right to bear arms is. So we're dumb? It's stupid. <laughs> right. Well, I mean, this is what we've seen with Republicans. They will shift the narrative constantly. Uh, so it's it's doors, it's CRT, and now it's the polling data. But I disagree with the chairman. I think Republicans are quite serious about this. Uh, I don't think that they're unserious. I think that they're quite serious about digging their heels down and supporting the NRA and their financing. And I've said this from day one, and Chuck Schumer is my senior senator. He is not ready for this moment. He needs to name and shame every single Republican that consistently hides behind the NRA and supports these gruesome killings, of which we've had over 200 in 2022 alone. And I think a lot of Americans realized after Sandy Hook, when we saw the atrocity there mm -hmm. with white middle-class children, there was no saving any of us. Because if Republicans didn't act then, and save their own, we knew that in black and Latino and Asian and native communities across this country, in poor white communities, they wouldn't do nothing to, to think about comprehensive gun control. And now we've seen, obviously, white domestic terrorists coming into communities across the country uh, to say nothing of police departments, et cetera. So the conversation needs to be a lot more aggressive, not just with Joe Biden and executive orders, but it has to be the Democratic Party on a consistent basis, shaming every single Republican who hides behind the NRA and also Democratic senators who quietly hide behind Mansion and Cinema, just so they don't actually have to be on record to be bold and to be aggressive about real gun control. We've had amendments to the Constitution. We can have more. Uh, can I say, respond to that real quick? Real quick. When that Democratic, yeah. when that Democratic Party shows up, then that will happen. But that's not going to happen with this Democratic Party. They, can, they couldn't get out of the way of a filibuster debate. So I don't expect them to get out of the way of something as complicated as, as, gun, as a discussion on guns. They still talk about it in terms of control. And the gun control uh, argument is the exact argument you don't want to make because it plays right, right into the NRA's hands. Right, which is why I studiously try not to say gun control because what we're really talking about is safety. It is gun safety. Um, stay with us. We're going to take a break, and then we'll have final thoughts when we come back.